It has been more than 13 hours since a gunman opened fire inside a popular Manhattan park, and there is still no sign of that shooter. A 74-year-old man was killed and another man critically hurt. CBS 2's Lori Bordenero has the latest now on the investigation from the East Village. A surveillance video capturing the moment shots were fired inside Tompkins Square Park just before 10 this morning. You can see people running, including one of the victims who stumbled into this deli begging for help. And he ran from the park over here, collapsed over here, they called the ambulance, ambulance came and they took him. Police sources say the two victims were shot in the back. A 74-year-old man died, a 44-year-old man rushed to the hospital. My whole life, my parents have been bringing me here, and that's crazy. The deadly shooting happened near East 7th Street and Avenue A, just feet from this crowded playground. But this park I'm really surprised with, because this is like a very kid, like this is where families come. Hopefully it's just kind of like a freak thing, but yeah, I mean, it's obviously scary and anytime someone gets shot. According to the NYPD's crime stats, as of Monday, before Friday's double shooting, three people have been hit with bullets in the 9th Precinct so far this year, just as many as the same time last year. Mayor Eric Adams says many of the city's criminals are repeat offenders who should remain behind bars. Police were doing their job. Uh, they're clearing cases. They're making arrests. They moved 17,000 illegal guns off the streets. But far too often, those who are doing shootings, they are returned back to our streets and they don't learn their lesson. Those in this neighborhood worry drugs and crime are on the rise. I definitely feel like we could do better, but that's everywhere. The second victim is in stable condition at the hospital. The gunman last seen wearing a black bucket hat, black jacket, white mask, and white gloves. In the East Village, Lori Bordenero, CBS 2 News.